Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Go wait for some people to hop on. How's everybody doing? Hey, it's Saturday night and a little bit of a cheat day around here. So, y'all, we have to always have our treats and our cheats. Cheats and treats. Everybody likes cheats and treats. We do. How's everybody doing? So for us, my hubby has been like, he's been like, I'm wanting some caramel corn. I'm wanting some of your caramel corn. And love his heart. I'm going to make him some. How's everybody doing? So I will share what I put in this. I have made this for years. Honestly, probably for 20 years, I have made this caramel corn. And I have made it for everybody seems like I've made it at youth camps I've made it at uh, sleepovers uh, Kenzie's sleepovers um, church youth sleepovers for the for the kids I've made this caramel corn for years and I've made it for quite a few people how's everybody doing so if y'all could share I'd appreciate it that kind of gets gets me uh, gets me out there a little more. I appreciate all of you all sharing. Also, let me, I want to let you guys know, I do have a YouTube link, and I shared it earlier today. Make sure if you have YouTube that you subscribe. I'm learning it, so bear with me. It's not perfect, which nothing's perfect, but I'm learning it. I really am learning it. I'm trying to get on there and do a little more. So, when y'all hop on, say hi and tell me where you're from. And tell me, um, uh, tell me where you're from and just say hello and talk to us. Kenzie's going to get the phone here in just a second. She's going to be my little videographer today. But, y'all, I love caramel corn. Now, this caramel corn, uh, caramel popcorn, um, you can bake it. I don't bake mine, okay? You can put it in the oven afterwards and you can bake it. And it turns out more like Cracker Jacks or Fiddle Faddle or something. And it gets, it kind of gets a little uh, hard. Uh, but we don't like ours like that. Uh, I leave mine gooey and tacky. We call it tacky. I leave, we like ours gooey and tacky. And so we just fix it like that. But anyway, y'all, you don't have to buy. Yeah, and caramel corn can be expensive. I mean, it really can. So you don't have to buy caramel corn. I'm going to show you how to make it. So... Y'all say hello. Hey, Patty, Kathy, Cindy. I want to say hi to some of you. Linda, Donna, everybody's hopping on. Evelyn. How's everybody? Norma. It's cold here in Kentucky. Lenola. We didn't get any. Hey, Benita. We didn't get any snow. But it's just cold. Gosh almighty. We rode over in Ohio today. And, oh, gosh, I'm just like, I don't want to walk to the vehicle. And it's, honestly, it's only like 30, but, yeah, but it it's just still. feels, I hate winter. But, anyway, I'm not trying to, I, I ain't going to complain. The good Lord just gives us, hey, Diana. Diana. My pal, Diana. So, I'm going I'm to switch it around and let Kenzie take over, y'all. I'm going to get started on this caramel corn. Just watch me. As with anything, I don't really... Um, cook with a lot of recipes, but I think I've shared this before because I got this originally when I started housekeeping, as mommy always says, uh, not too long after me and Roger got married, he bought me this cookbook. It's an old, better homes and gardens cookbook. Look at that. Y'all, I've had this, we've been married 30 years. I think I've had it about 29 years. I think he bought it the second Christmas we was married. Never been in 91. Um, and I got the original recipe out of this book, but I do think it's on my page. So if you need recipes, when I have recipes and I tell you that I share them, I put them under the photo albums under the page and just go under the photo albums that's titled recipes. And if you do that, you'll be able to scroll through there and you'll be able to see, uh, the recipes. All right. So I'm going to switch it over. And y'all just talk to us. Kenzie, my little video. Look how she got her braces off this week. She's so excited. Blue Mountain, Northwestern Oregon. Wow, and they have snow. Wow, awesome. 
I bet New York has snow. Yeah, I bet New Yeah. <laughs> Texas. Hey, from Texas. Texas is on my bucket list. Hey, from Georgia. Amy, my buddy. Amy's in South Carolina. South Carolina yeah. So I got a lot of my friends on here, too. So we're going to make some caramel corn. And y'all, today has just been a good cheat day for us. So we're going to make some caramel corn. Go out so, with the bang. Yeah, go out with the bang. Why not? Kenzie's going to switch it around I here. can eat it now, too. Yeah, she Finally. couldn't hardly eat it because she didn't. Grace is free. That light yeah. is bright. Okay. Yeah. Turn around here. Make sure. I think it, that should be good. Yeah. So I've already got, let me tell y'all ahead of time. I use microwave popcorn. I like the Orville Redenbacher because to me it just tastes better. I'm picky about popcorn, so this is just Orville Redenbacher microwave popcorn, and I got the kernels out. And I'll tell you a good tip. Since we like ours gooey, and we leave, we eat ours right out of, look at how I destroyed it. <laughs> and we eat ours right out of the bowl. I sprayed the bowl with some nonstick spray, because when I put that caramel in there, it just kind of helps it not stick, okay? But this is a bag of microwave popcorn already popped. And I removed the car, uh, the kernels, okay? And I prefer or Orville Redenbacher. You can use whatever you want. But I've already got ahead. I went ahead and melted a stick of butter. Um, you can do unsalted butter or you can do salted. Honestly, salted butter is better for this because it's like salted caramel. But I didn't, I didn't have any. So this is unsalted, which is no big deal. And you, you want to cook, this is going to cook fairly high heat. So I got it on about a seven. And where my butter is already melted, this will start coming to boil pretty quick. So let me grab a spoon. So all this is, is there's a stick of butter, okay? And you're going to put about... I do about probably three tablespoons of Cairo syrup, okay? That's light corn syrup. You can use whatever. I've always used light, never have used dark or nothing, but I use the light. And that's about three tablespoons. And you're going to use brown sugar. Let me get my brown sugar out. And I'm using dark. You can use light. And I just do a handful, but I will tell you, I think I will... Um, this is probably a right at probably three quarters of a cup, maybe, mm. or maybe a cup. I like dark brown sugar. Um, I think dark brown sugar just has just a little better taste for me. So what you're going to do is this is going to come to a bowl. You want to stir it all together. Now, when I take it off the heat, <laughs> you're slinging yeah. everything. Yeah, I'm slinging everything. When I take it off the heat, I'm going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, okay? And like I said, just watch for this. I'm, I won't be posting any recipe to this. This is how I do it. I do think I did post a recipe maybe in October or November. I posted a recipe. Just go under my photo albums and look under the album titled recipes so we got to give this time to come together how's everybody doing i'm telling y'all it's already been a crazy year yeah. <laughs> now i'm telling y'all this if you make this you do need real butter and butter will make the difference i have never used margarine because it just I mean, I know a lot of everybody is eating like fiddle faddle. What is it? What's that? Other oh, one? um, there's cracker. We do this every time. Uh, something toffee. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know. But butter gives it that good caramel flavor. Yeah, it's just you have good. to have butter. Mm -hmm. You can double this if you wanted. And basically, this is what I say, and this is how I've learned to cook through the years. As long as you're using the right combination sometimes, it's not always how much you put in. As long as you, as long as you just put the right combination in. Mm. And it smells so good. The yeah. way uh, mm. caramel smells, my favorite. I want a candle that smells like that. Yeah, I love caramel. 
All right, let me go through some of the comments. Yeah. Yeah, well, everybody's getting lost. I'm sorry. Yeah, if you want to ask questions, I'll try to go back and talk to everybody. I love to do that. All right, we got Colorado, Connecticut, Texas, Tennessee. Um, wow. All right. People are asking what county we're in. She said, I'm from Kentucky, but I live in Texas now. I have a lot of family in and around Ohio and in okay. Louisville. Okay. I had about a half a teaspoon of salt, you all, okay? Because I want it kind of a salty caramel. Um, we're in Northern Kentucky, so we're near Cincinnati, but we're, I'm originally from Southeast Kentucky in Letcher County, so, and we've lived here 13 years. Everyone's saying it's called Crunch and Munch. Crunch and Munch, that's it. Yes, I knew there was something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, margarine isn't even a real food. Yeah, margarine, not, <laughs> if you're baking or cooking, try to stick to real butter. Okay. Now, once it starts to boiling, it don't. It won't. It really won't take long. And the, what the what the uh, baking soda is going to do? Now, where I'm from, it's kind of hard for me. Mommy always called it sodi. So, uh, what that's going to do? It just kind of makes a little chemical reaction and makes it kind of fluffy. We are making caramel corn, so we got a bunch of people just hopping on. Oh, Everyone's asking. Yeah. I do, if you look under my photo albums under recipes, I did post a recipe a few months ago with this, but I don't think I never, I think I did a live once, but I did it on my personal page. I didn't do it on this page. And so my husband was wanting some caramel corn and he asked for this, so we're gonna make it. And I figured I'd just come on here and talk to y'all and do a live while we made it. So it's come to a bowl. And where I had melted my butter ahead of time, it did not take long. And I'm going to turn it down just a little. That's about a medium high heat. And I'm going to do, uh, watch my timer here. And I'm going to put it, and I'm going to let it boil for about a minute. How it, far are we from the arc? Oh, gosh. Like 30 45 minutes? 45 minutes. 45? Yeah, we're not far. That's in Grant County. We're on above it, just a little above it. So this is only going to boil about another minute, y'all. Don't take long. Now, if you wanted, once you coat this, if you want to put it on a buttered, take you a, li a li line you a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil and butter it and lay this coated popcorn on top of that and spread it out. Put it in the oven at about 300 degrees for about 20 minutes and let it continue to kind of bake a little and it will turn into like Cracker Jacks, okay? How many bags? It's just one, right? Yeah, this is just one bag of popcorn. You can double this. Watch how I did it. You can double it if you're making more. Like I said, I've made this for years. Yeah, Ever some since... people from Barberville. Hey, Barberville! Well, my husband's family's from Barbersville. So that's a minute. It didn't take it long. You don't want to over bake, uh, over boil it, because it start turning back to, uh, sugar and it'll get uh or stick it, it get really sticky and hard coffee yeah it'll it'll start to crack and you don't want that see that look at that pretty color and i did add a half of about a half a teaspoon of salt in it because every now and then you just get that hang yeah i'm excited to eat it i followed the <laughs> rules and i didn't have it for like two and a half years you did. so I'm gonna eat it so tonight. I took it off the heat and I'm gonna stir it just for a minute to let it stop boiling. So this is pretty quick. And it, you know what, y'all? I mean, I don't eat, we don't eat a lot of sugary food because of Roger. And we try to, you know, as much as I love to cook, we still try to eat pretty healthy in moderation. But if you're gonna eat something like this, this is what I always tell anybody. And every now and then, I mean, people just, I like to have something sweet. Um, make it yourself. That's what I learned years ago. If you make it yourself, then it's a little less processed and it's not like, you know what I mean? So, so it only takes, honestly, y'all, about a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda. Now watch when I stir it. It's gonna start getting a little lighter. This, if you don't want to use this for popcorn, put this in a jar, let it cool a little bit, put it over ice cream, 
You got homemade mm. caramel sauce. Put it over a cake, whatever you want. Homemade caramel. If you missed the um, first part of the video when she explained everything, when we get done here, you can just go back and rewatch. Yeah. So look at that. Now, at this point, once you add your caramel, you can throw in a few handfuls of peanuts, pretzels, whatever mm. you want. You can throw in... I feel like cashews would oh, be good yeah. in there. Chocolate chips. Yeah, I've done chocolate chips before. I've done m and Pretzels are really good mm. and peanuts. You can do peanuts. You can throw in toffee bits. Amy said it looks so good. Oh, yeah. My hubby. Yeah. <laughs> All my friends. Yeah. Kenzie's little buddies. I mean, I've had friends, like, they'll still mention, like, like my birthday parties from, like, third grade, talking about how good mom's um, caramel, <laughs> caramel corn was. Corn. I'd always make them. So you just stir it and coat it, okay? And... Mm. Look at there, look at there. <laughs> now, we like it like this. So, if you wanted to put it in the oven, at this point, once you get it good and coated, put it on your cookie sheet, spread it out, but make sure it's all coated, and put it in the oven at around 300 degrees and just let it continue to bake a little. Don't overdo it because it will burn because it's sugar, sugar burns. And, and let it cool and it will turn crunchy more like a uh, cracker jack or something okay so that's pretty mm. much coated about as coated as you'll get yeah and you can double it but it is easy how i like to lick the thing so i guess now it's tasting time um someone says what is the difference between that and how popcorn balls are made well Popcorn balls, uh, you could actually do this with popcorn balls. Um, I I've really never, I've never really made popcorn balls. Because I was like this, this hot. But. Someone said that they use molasses for popcorn yeah, balls. popcorn balls, yeah. I th <clears throat> Does that molasses? And if you wanted to do molasses, <clears throat> Take this right here. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> it's so good. Let me get me a drink. She is choking over here. It's so good and buttery. So if you wanted to at this point butter your hands, you could take it and make balls out of it and just set it and let it cool off. You can do it in popcorn balls. Because what this is going to do when it starts cooling down, it, it's in little chunks anyway, see? Those are always the best. When it like... Kenzie likes these big... Yeah. And that one, that big part yeah. right there. Yeah, it's just microwave popcorn. Mm -mm. And then if we don't eat it all, you can just put it in a plastic bag. Yeah. A Ziploc bag. Chill and just up. leave it out. It'll be fine. You can do... I like to do popcorn microwave because it's just quicker. And look at that, y'all. It's so good. Y'all, it is very buttery. This tastes any this tastes better mm. than any of uh, crunch and munch or And it's somewhat know. better for you. Yeah, I'm without the process. Yeah. It is homemade. Mm, so good. I'm telling you. It's buttery, it's so good. I love it. It's got it's got what I did with the salt, I did add some salt, but if you want to do salted butter, it would be even better. It would be really good with peanuts. And salted caramel. Mm-hmm. You could add some maple flavor in it. You can add, I mean, honestly, but if you did it like I did with that, I like the dark brown sugar. Now, if you use light, I've used light. It won't look as dark. The light brown sugar is going to look more, I guess, like a... It's going to be more see-through. Yeah. But it, see how it's just gooey? It smells so good. Uh, 
I just wish, like, I could walk into the house right the now. braces. I know. Mm. I can eat it. <laughs> Someone says, save some for your hubby. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. He's down, <laughs> he's down in the wood shop. But I'm telling you. I don't know, but I think he yeah. might be making cutting board right now. Yeah, he is. All right, let me look at the comments. But anyway, see how quick I made it? The quick snack. And if your whole family helps you eat it, you don't have to feel so guilty. <laughs> <laughs> like us, a family of three. It's but, a good little dog treat, too. I mean, if your kids want something, guys, this is just like the best treat, guys, that you can ever do for your family. I mean, if you're sitting around watching a movie together or playing games, uh, for us, I'm going to take it over back. <laughs> my family loves it i usually requested it christmas when we're playing games or whatever on christmas eve oh yeah and sleepovers at church <laughs> at youth camp i've had to make it so and i'm telling you though it's really good and it's simple see y'all know i'm just i'm all about good simple stuff Sometimes that's just the best. You don't have to fuss over it. So, so I hope y'all make it. If you do, let me know. Y'all make sure you check out. I do have a, a group. My group is um, called Missy's Mountain Friends. I think it's called Missy's Mountain Cooking Friends or something like that. I, I can't remember. <laughs> y'all, I'm crazy sometimes. But anyway, make sure you're getting in my group. In that group, guys, for anybody who makes anything, share it. Share it. And if you make anything, share it, and we can um, talk and keep other keep each other company. And that's what <laughs> I want. Also, let me turn my phone around so I can talk to you guys. Let me turn around. All right, guys. Kenzie, my little videographer. Thank you, baby girl. <laughs> so. Yeah, the kids did have it in South Dakota, yeah. I fixed it for some of them, yeah. The, I fixed it for the girls' dorm one night. Throw some salty peanuts, yeah. All right, so this is very versatile. You can throw peanuts in there, M&Ms, cashews, pretzels. Pretzels are really good in it. That was good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to holler at Daddy and Lane come up <laughs> and, uh, and eat it. So the recipe... Um, that I shared a few months ago is under my photo albums and the album is titled recipes. It should be under there, but if it's not, just go back and watch this. And from the beginning, you'll see everything I put in there. It's really simple. It's not, it's not, it's really simple. Really guys, this is honestly a good, simple recipe and it's, uh, it's easy and it's just easy to make. And there's all kinds of um, different ways. I mean, it really is just simple. I mean, I made it in what? What? Less than like 15 minutes. So it's really good. But anyway. But I do thank you guys for watching. You all are awesome. So hopefully this week I'm going to get another video, a live video with mom. Mom's ready to cook again. And uh, they've been kind of doing some work around their house. So we've just been a little uh, preoccupied with that. So and they redone their floor in their kitchen so um so we couldn't hardly get in there to do any videos with her but hopefully this week mom will be back cooking with you guys can you bless us with a soul <laughs> uh, so anyway hey from kansas tried the fudge all right, guys, I am going to get off here, but I do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And I appreciate everybody for all you've done and uh, for sharing, for being. You're just amazing, guys. So I'm going to get off of here, go to the ark. Yeah, I'm not too far from the ark. So, all right, I'm going to get off here. Hope you make it. You guys are awesome. Y'all have a great Saturday. And I will talk to you guys hopefully in a few days. I will let you know when mom will be on cooking. See you guys.